Welcome to Win 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to continue the discussion of drawing an inverter equivalent. In the previous clip, we have already seen how do we draw an equivalent circuit when my transistors are connected in series. So the thing which we saw, I would just quickly recap, is that when resistors are connected in series, they are all added up as we see on the first line. Because we know that resistance and current are inversely proportional and current is directly proportional to W by L, so resistance is inversely proportional to W by L, the series phenomena which the resistor follows when they are connected in series is equivalent to a parallel phenomena for W by L when they are connected in series. So that's the reason I can show you that we have two transistors which are connected in series and we just saw that when resistance are in series the W by L will be in parallel so W by L of 1 parallel to W by L of 2 and the previous clip we saw that this is nothing but W by L equivalent and the expression for the same which is written in equation number 1. Now we also saw that if W by L of 1 is equal to W by L of 2 then my W by L equivalent is nothing but W by L divided by n where n is the number of transistors and in this case there are two transistors which are connected in series so it will be divided by 2 so this is nothing but w by 2l so if i have to draw a w by l equivalent this would be nothing but w by l equivalent equal to w by l divided by 2 so this is when my transistors are connected in series now let's see what happens when my transistors are connected in parallel. So here we see that there are two PMOS transistors which are connected in parallel. We have seen the phenomena for series and we will follow the same steps for parallel connection as well. So resistance when they are connected in parallel, we have nothing but R1 parallel to R2 parallel to Rn. So if resistance when they are connected in parallel are R1 parallel to R2 parallel to Rn then the W by L when the transistors are connected in parallel would be nothing but they would be straight away added up as it happens in the series phenomena for resistors. So here we see that W by L will be added W by L1 plus W by L of 2 plus W by L so on and so forth to W by L of n which is nothing but W by L equivalent equal to summation 1 is to k the total number of transistors W by L, it's adding up of all the W by L's when they are connected in parallel. In the circuit on the left hand side, if I have W by L of 1 equal to W by L of 2 means both of them are same, then W by L equivalent is nothing but W by L plus W by L which is nothing but W by L 2. I mean 2 times W by L which is nothing but W by L plus W by L is equal to twice W by L which leads me to a general formula again that if my W by L are same and the transistors are connected in parallel I get W by L the whole is multiplied by n where n is the number of transistors and in this case that number is equal to 2 so remember this series and parallel laws for transistors we can easily prove this using layouts as well but currently that's beyond the scope of our work so I think this is the shortcut to remember and with this we will draw a 2 input NAND, a 2 input NOR and its equivalent inverter circuit. Along with that we will solve some problems as well. Hope you have followed the basics. Stay tuned for further clips. Thank you very much.